How's it going guys? It's me Ducky and welcome to The Walking Dead. Um this is part three. Um so basically I lost about uh, a couple of minutes recording. Basically all that happened was we went to say hello to Sean and Duck on the tractor. And they're they're alright. Um we cut some wood and it's all good. Then we went over to the barn and said hello to said hello, said hello to Herschel and then he told us to be a better liar. But we weren't lying about anything. We were very truthful. So that made no sense. And um, we just heard a scream, so it's all good. Let's go. Ah! Stitch you up. It, it almost, it almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. I know so. I, uh... oh god. Oh god. Why? Well, at least the little boy's okay. to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. Oh, uh, it's Kenny's fault. No, it's no his fault. No, awkward silence. You don't need to say anything. You tried. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Oh. Oh, this is the shit has hit the fan. <laughs> oh god. Well we will we'll... It's not Kelly's fault though, because he is he has his son to look out for, but I don't know. I don't know. So yeah. Oh yeah, basically. That's um, when you meet Herschel. That's what he was probably why he didn't want everyone to stay on the farm in the TV series, and why well, there was walkers. This in the is bar. as far as we're going, and it's far enough. Plot twist. Ah, <sighs> uh, well, at least we're safe now. Uh... Yes, drugs. Oh. I mean, oh, I presume that's his parents' door. Look! Oh, yeah, there's people. Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. <laughs> Fuck! Fucking hippies. <laughs> oh, God. We're trapped! <laughs> 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 Station to 
sorry, buddy. Oh. Oh, well, at least we, we got can't in the drugstore. Like and we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Yeah, we, we're so Worse. dangerous. They could have let them right to us. Where the hell um, is your humanity? We have they would have died out there. No. We have kids with us. I see yeah. one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. Um, I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. Um, You're a dumb, careless I, kid. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God <sighs> damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Um, oh, she, just she ran out leader. there. Uh, I don't uh, give a flying fuck. She's in a war zone. Yeah. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Oh, for fuck's sake. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this Fuck now. Off, Gramps. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do oh. we do about this guy? Dad, um, it's just a boy. Kick his ass. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Sit down, Sit down Grandpa. That's it. <laughs> You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. Oh! <laughs> Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's oh, dead, he'll sake. probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. And get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bitten. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. No. You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> oh. Oh. <coughs> Jesus! <coughs> <Tell me> <coughs> Okay. Just great, thanks. Ah. Uh, guys. Everybody down. Stay quiet. Uh. I'm gonna get him. Is that the Wilton? Oh. 
don't know. Thank God for whatever. Whatever. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Shut the fuck. Uh, yeah, sounds you right, Grandpa. Uh, <laughs> Uh, was he the one better? What's wrong with him? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. You don't fucking deserve it. Uh, uh... You'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Oh, I like how literally just walked in on that group and already, like, literally with the boss. Um... Alright, let's talk to You're a pretty first. good shot. Wait. Well, yeah. you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Oh, um... You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah, can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Oh, uh, I'm uh, done. Nothing. <laughs> uh, How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. <clears throat> what are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me oh. have a look. I doubt there's much point, because I would have thought all the radio stations would have gone off by now. Let's see if it's got batteries to it first. Oh, oh wow! Friggin' what Gina now? And I. You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find <laughs> some. Needs two. Thanks. Oh, I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Alright. Um, let's talk to Doug. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, no. Not right now. Alright, let me know if you want to. Do that later. Um, look for them batteries. All right, come on. <laughs> oh, we can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, huh? Just talk to them. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know. You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, <laughs> we, Cat, and I. Appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Uh, What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so 
We ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go uh, looking for them? Yeah, they own this place. <laughs> they, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Uh, Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, Stop. considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. It's like the, like the fourth, no, third time that we know about the Duck's been, like, almost killed. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. Little kid. How is she doing? Her family's dead. <laughs> so nice. She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. Were you saying, Lee, she spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Lee, uh -huh. you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It, it, it happens. happens. I guess. I, I want to be nice but to I can't stop He's seeing him in my head. Yeah, that's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I love how I philosophical he is. He's, he's just like got all these like quotes and shit. Trying to let it go. Yeah, we've 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 been good to Kenny. He, he's 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 a bro. Yeah. <laughs> and his son's named Doug. So yeah. It's pretty pretty cool. Energy bar Yeah. Alright, let's talk to Faggot and um, How's it doing? I'm not Gramps. sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. He didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that sure. shit, all right? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence oh. with my dad, that didn't help. Yeah, well, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna get back to him now. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, 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 I don't like her. She can't have my energy bar. I'm gonna have another one as well. Um, oh, and another one. Yeah, I'm on a roll here. Energy bars all over the place. Oh, you got you got to give one to Clementine. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Uh, can I just give? Can I keep on giving it? Oh no. Okay. Hey there. Hi. Uh, uh, Glenn, okay, yeah, yeah, if you, if Glenn, you know, from the TV series as well, yeah, swag, okay. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. <gasps> Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Glenn. I'll see if I can find something else for you. Uh, we should get to know so, each other. Um, Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just, uh, I'm good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, I think so. so good. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Yeah. Okay. God, that was awkward. Yeah, it's kind of strange just going up around with this little girl who don't even really know. <coughs> and yeah. Oh! Okay, we've got another battery. Okay. I guess we can um, fix the radio now. Um, have some batteries. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Um, 
Alright, yeah, she she's good at shooting Here, shit. Let's give her a find it some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. <laughs> thanks. Oh, caretaker? Oh, oh. Who would think I am? Fucking caretaker. Hey, Carly. <laughs> it's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a oh. look at that thing. Go ahead. All right. Check the batteries. Did she actually put them in? Oh, smooth. Wrong way. This is why you don't let women near electronics. <laughs> I thought that maybe I shouldn't have said that. Okay. Um. Yeah. Power. You fixed it. Friggin' God. Right unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... <laughs> uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you to <laughs> God bless you all. Oh, okay. That was lovely. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Tune in for the next episode. Ducky out.